Today, we've got the Venom out, and I thought I'd give it a little test ride before I pull it apart and upgrade it, put the new group on and everything. If you haven't seen the first video, well, it's custom built uh, 531 frame and fork, beautiful fleur of orange to a sort of blue with a silver underneath. It's got a mix of components from, I believe that's STX. XT, um, I think that was LX, XT, Cantis, San Marco saddle, LX shifters, Brahma bars, um, 600 front hub, and Mavic rims. But the one thing, but the one thing I did want to check was, well, if you can tell by the riding footage and this angle, this super long stem. 150 mil so that's one thing I'm probably going to change um, but apart from that it actually rides really nice straight out of the box it's definitely been looked after so I think now I'm going to upgrade it and uh, make it a bit faster
Roller bearings again. Hmm, I'm honestly not 100% sure how to work with these roller bearings, so I'm just going to make sure there's a little bit of grease on every surface. First change is going from that 155, 150-ish, I guess, mill monster to something a little bit more comfortable to this Zoom competition at um, 120 mil, which should be a bit more comfortable for me. And um, I guess if you want to go that way, it also matches the bars. And it's also the stem that the um, KHS uh, team uses. So as you know, I wanted to upgrade this. And, um, well, I saw this cheap boot pop up on e um, Facebook. XTR. M950 V brakes 3 by 9 and um, at the price it was I couldn't really turn it down Something I learnt about this generation of XTR. Uh, what was I going to say? There is, I can't remember what it's exactly called, but obviously you can see here, standard derailleur has its spring set so that when it's in the highest gear, the spring is pulled all the way in, the derailleur is tucked up. There is also a version which works in reverse. So the spring is almost set, well it is set, in reverse, so it's, when it's tight, I guess, it's default position is the lowest gear. Um, actually I got one, here, so that, that's this one, this one is in its default position, it's the 951, whereas this 950, it's default position is like that. Um, that's about as much as I know, which I thought it was interesting. And what I'm going to have to do with this is add one of these sort of like little problem solver pulleys, although this one's a JTEC one. Hell of a lot cheaper. Just, with a, just for something without the name on it. Um, the front derailleur I have is bottom pull. This frame is top pull. So this will hopefully help bring the cable down through here, around the pulley, and out to the derailleur. 
that's the aim of it anyway. I also found out the Octolink, which this bottom, this chain set, crank set, however you want to call it, uses. The Octolink comes in two versions. Version one, which is this one, with I believe it was thinner splines, or version two, which is the newer one, with fatter, longer splines. So you have to make sure you get the right one. You can't just use Octolink. Um, this one's actually a Ultegra one, which I think will work, hopefully. Apart from cables, it's about the last thing. I don't even know what these feel like. I'll probably, probably go back to a spoon. Let's see if this, um, this like travel agent cable problem solver pulley tetro jtec thingy works So it could be that this bottom bracket is slightly too long. I've got it, I've been fine tuning it. And I can just about get it. It is messy though. can shift it doesn't matter. There you go, now it does. I don't know why, but just these brakes have been an absolute nightmare. Found out if I had to turn the pads around. So they've got the thin washers on the inside. It's about the only way that I can do it with the pads touching the rim right.
It don't look too bad, does it? It's heavy still. It feels heavy. It's about 12, 12 kilos still, I think. Maybe 13, 12.8. Um, so yeah, it's still a bit on the heavy side, which I wasn't expecting, but it looks awesome. I love the fade. I'm glad I swapped out the orange bar tape for the black. And yes, I have reverse wrapped it. Um, that's how it was on the bike originally. So I'm gonna try it out. If it moves, no bother, I'll just rewrap it. Um, but yeah, looking forward to getting out and riding it and seeing how it does. It has been a little bit, a little bit annoying with the bottom bracket. Um, it is a 118, I think it was. The Ultegra, which I think is ever so slightly too long, maybe oh, three mil in total, so one and a half mil per side. Um, then an XT size, which could be could give just the movement, or it could be the reason why the derailleur is just maxing out just a little bit too soon. Uh, so maybe you have to look at that. But I'm learning this thing. I've never worked with this group set before. I have never really worked with an arc link before. So something I got to learn. All in all, it's looking awesome. I'm happy how it's come together and I really want to take it out for a ride now. So let's go. Someone hungry. Mouth. Come here. Now I've got to be honest. This build didn't go quite as smooth as I thought. It looks amazing. I love how the colours have come up. The fluoro on the front. Mixed with, you know, this light blue, the silver. Yeah, with the light dancing over at the moment. But yeah. It didn't go quite as smooth as I'd hoped. That bottom bracket was annoying, very annoying. Um, I think it's slightly too long. The XDR, I believe, came in something like 108, 115, something like that. That's an Ultegra 118. And I think it was just a case of it being slightly too long, so it's a little bit difficult for the front derailleur to shift over. It makes it just with the limit screw wound all the way out, but yeah, it's difficult. Um, also just the V brakes were kind of annoying. Don't know why they just were. So it hasn't gone completely smooth. It's just one of those builds, um, but I love it. I love the look at it. The straight fork, fluoro colours, even the purple on the XDR cage, the jockey wheels, the Hope Hobs sound amazing. Yeah, really like it. So it might actually turn out to be one of my main commuter bikes now. I can put guards on it, I can put a rack on it. I know it's mainly a race bike or a custom bike, but I've got the rack mounts can stick those on and yeah there we go so to finish off all product links and everything bike spec are in the description um, and the normal 
I guess, YouTube stuff. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And um, if you want to see more builds, stick around. Because I'm going to... I'll see you in the next one. So I thought I'd just include this bonus clip from a previous ride. This one made me laugh. Uh, it's a narrow section of the canal. There is nowhere to pass. So I stop here until the two ladies in front with the dogs get a bit further up. I don't have a bell. But I'll ask politely to get past. And uh, yeah, hear the response. Excuse me, guys, can I just squeeze past you? Oh, sorry. That's all right. I think you got a bell on there. Uh, no, I've got a mouth. <laughs>